They back, y'all. They back. I don't know why they back, but they here. Brittany and Latino Heat. <laughs> Y'all think I'm going to sit up here and waste a moment of my breath talking about these two? <laughs> you got another thing coming. <laughs> Next. Welcome back to my channel, Sass here. I'm here for another recap of Love. I'm sorry, Life After Lockup Child. I guess we can't have it good all the time because, baby, whew. this week's episode. y'all think hmm y'all let y'all let me know child because i did a whole lot of uh bathroom breaks snack breaks rolling my eyes breaks side eye breaks really think that we are up here just walking around with two heads we can tell fakeness when we see it, these contrived storylines, the fake anger. Child, let's talk about Lindsay and Blaine with the bang. So, Lindsay and Blaine is in his house. She folding up some laundry and she brings up Blaine's dad bringing up marriage. And so she was like, what is that about him? You know, say you want to marry me. And so Blaine. Oh, you know, he's all talking about it all the time. And, you know, he always heard me talk about you. So they were going back and forth. Lindsay was flattered. And I guess her hearing that Blaine wants to make her wifey, she got a little hot and bothered. So it's time to go into the bedroom to blow out a back, okay? So they up in the bedroom, and he was like, why don't you go on up in there and take a shower, take a shower and get a little hot water on you. Lindsay, was you walking around that busty girl? It's okay, girl. Was you walking around there that Mississippi heat sweating all day? It's all right, girl. It's all right. So she was like, oh, no. Uh-uh. Oh, no. We gonna get it popping right now. And so Blaine was like, "No, nah, I want to go out there on my on my dirt bike." <laughs> like what? So she proceeds to take off her shirt, pull down his pants, and he was like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! You ain't gotta take them off, okay? They good to the ankles, okay? Ain't no need to take them off." She was like, "What are you talking about? This is what we always do. Why you acting weird? Don't act weird." So he was like, oh, well, no, no, boom, busted. He got a 20-pound ankle monitor <laughs> around his ankle. Now, we know why he got it. We know how he got it. We know how it come to pass that he got it on his ankle. But who didn't know? Lindsay, and Lord have mercy, Lindsay. Were you in the mirror acting out what you was going to say to Blaine? Because, honey, I don't buy that. Not one bit. Lindsay was like, oh, my God. What the F is this? What the F, Blaine? I was like, ugh. <laughs> You're not going to win no Academy Awards, child. So Lindsay is upset because Blaine got a good old ankle monitor. And so Blaine was like, why are you getting so upset, Lindsay? Why are you getting so upset? 
So, Lindsay, she is fussing and a cussing child. And so, Lindsay said, what is this? How long you had it? What's going on? Don't you know this affects me? And so Blaine is like, listen, I'm not going to prison. I'm not going to, this is a good thing. I'm not going to prison. The lawyer is going to cut me a deal on payment. Why are you mad? I would think you would be happy for this. Lindsay was like, I ain't happy. Okay? I'm mad as hell. And I ain't taking no more. She says, do you know I'm still on probation? She said, I'm on probation, and technically, you're an inmate. I don't supposed to be around no Fallon, Fallon, Fallons. And here you are, affecting me, because see, it's all about me. And so Blaine said, I don't know why you're so upset, man. They ain't going to even care about that. I'm gonna have some hands. It don't even matter. So Lindsay, she is stomping. She done went into the kitchen, grabbed her a cup of water. Now, this is the first time in love, life after lockup history, I have seen one of them heifers drink water. Now, I knew that was, I was like, scripted. The minute I seen Lindsay drink water, I was like, hell no. To the now, 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 I knew that this was a hot mess. So she still fussing, me, me, me. Why didn't you tell me? Who all knew? And so Blaine was like, well, um, my homeboy knew. Oh, he knew? Well, he was there when the call came in. Oh, who else? Well, my dad knew. Oh, he knew too. Oh, so he knew. Everybody knew but me. But I supposed to be wifey. <laughs> so Lindsay, she had a good old temper tantrum and she done threw the water in Blaine's face. Done stomped off. Done slammed the door. And Blaine is just all discombobulated, honey. Honey, did y'all see his mouth? Honey, his mouth went to the Honey, that blood, that bang was going ding, 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 ding. Lindsay, you know better than to get Blaze so upset like that. Blaze said he didn't understand, he didn't realize with him being on house arrest how it would affect Lindsay and them being together. Will it really? See, I don't know anything about the penal system. But if he's on house arrest and she's still on probation, I mean, it's not like he's in prison. He's still moving around. He said, listen, he said, I can do as I please, okay? I just need to come in at a certain time and I can't cross the state lines. But I'm good. So why would that affect Lindsay? Because he... Why am I still talking about them? Let's move on. Eris and Cameron, y'all, I'm not going to keep y'all. This ain't going to be long. Eris and Cameron, child. Eris is with her adorable daughter, Okay. I tell you, these folks are a hot mess, but their youngins are some kind of pretty and cute and adorable child. So, Aris says that Cameron needs to look for a job. That's what he needs to do. Cameron needs to get a J-O-B because, see, we don't need one income. We need two. Okay, I need help up in here. So, hopefully, while he's out there not accepting my phone calls and my texts, he better be out here working hard and hitting this pavement trying to find a job. See, that's what she said. But, see, Cameron said, I ain't got time, okay? I'm trying to go double platinum. See, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a hit. Now, Cameron is in somebody's good old studio. Now, I will say, this is an upgrade from where we seen him the last time. 
And it damn sure is an upgrade for what we see Michael in, in Jacob's mama's house. So kudos to you, Cameron. So Cameron is in there. And Cameron says, I'm dropping bars. Okay? All right? Cameron says, nothing really moves me. I'm so nonchalant. My life is like a movie. I do all the stunts. Camera said, don't F with me. Jay-Z, who? Marshall, who? <laughs> Lil Wayne, who? Y'all didn't hear me. Nothing really moves me. I'm so nonchalant. My life is like a movie. I do all the stunts. Sergeant Waters said, Don't let the five foot one stature fool you. I dive bars. So Cameron's in there doing what he needs to be doing to be the next big SoundCloud star. Okay? Spotify hit. And so, Aris is calling him, calling him, text messaging, nothing, nothing, nothing. He, he ain't got time. So, the little engineer dude said, he got it. He got it. I mean, <laughs> he was spitting fire. Okay? Now, here... In Tampa, Florida, where rap music was born, okay, he's going to be the biggest rap star in Tampa, Florida. Yo, are there any rappers from Tampa, Florida? Alexa, is there any rappers in Tampa, Florida? I found a few options for that in Tampa. There's Animal Trappers Tampa, 616.9. Alexa! Stop. Stop, Alexa. See, there's not. Okay, Alexa said it. <laughs> she thought I said trappers, not rappers. So, Eris, your man is going to be the hottest thing in Tampa. Okay, leave that man alone and let him be creative. So Cameron was there all day. So he comes back home and Aris was what? Where you been? Cameron said, can I, where you been? Uh, can I tell who you with? Who you see? What you been doing? Where is it? <laughs> I was like, Dango, Aris, can he at least breathe? <laughs> Aris says, I've been calling, I've been texting. Why ain't you asking me? Who you been with? Who you seeing? Hmm? 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 And so Cameron said, I've been at the studio. She said, studio? She said, you supposed to be out there looking for a job. He said, this is my job. This is my job. I'm going to be the next big rapper. How dare you try to hold that? Eric says, now listen here now. You don't come down here. We supposed to be husband, wife. You're, gonna, you're a father now. You can't be out here. Up in somebody's studio. You're supposed to be working. He was like, I got this. All right, you could be talking like that to me either. Ain't going to be too many more things. Now, you better simmer down. You up here. You better bring it down to here. I ain't playing with you. So, Aris, she is upset. She is going off. And she was like, do I smell alcohol on your breath? Do I smell alcohol on your breath? And then Cameron tickled me to death. He said yes. And guess what? I smell it on yours. And so Aaron says, I needed to calm my nerves. <laughs> Gary said, don't come at me crooked when you crooked. Okay? Yeah, I've been drinking. I had a little something, something, but I'm good. 
here is Aris talk about is was there a bee at the studio? He was like, no, the engineer was at the studio. She was like, that's it. She said, I'm tired of talking to you. I'm done talking to you. He was like, I'm tired of talking to you too. In fact, you can talk to the back of my head. I'm going to bed. Hey, that rhyme, that rhyme, Karen, you can put that in your song. So Cameron goes up, Eris is following him, and um, she was like, oh no, you're not sleeping in this bed. Uh-uh, when you got studio funk all over you, take your feet to the street and go downstairs. That's what you do, okay? You're not, you're not laying up in his bed. And so Cameron said, okay, well, well, I ain't going on that couch. Get to stepping. So Cameron goes downstairs. And baby, there was a lovely little home furnishing that said family on it. Cameron took it upon himself to break it. Honey, he grabbed that thing and went, ooh, on the edge of the chair. I said, that's all it took. That's all it took to break that thing, child. Cameron, why are you damaging a perfectly good home furnishing for Marshalls? Y'all know that that was over in that clearance section. Why? Now, why you do that? Just rude. Just rude. Child, let's move on from these two. Puppy and Amber. Well, really, Puppy. Puppy's still at her mama's house, child. And she's still talking to her mama about how Eric is a cheater. So the mama's like, what are you going to do about it? So Puppy was like, I don't know. I love him so much. So then here comes Eric. Because remember, he went to the bathroom. Now, I don't know what he was doing in the bathroom. But, baby, whatever he was doing, he got amped up. Did y'all see Eric in that car? The only thing he needed was a pillow and a blanket. Then he come talking about, hey, hey, we got to go. We're going to turn into pumpkins. Child, please don't bring him back on my screen ever again, okay? Him and his low-budget fashions. So, Peppy was like, well, I guess I'm to go because according to him, we're going to turn into pumpkins. So, Puppy gets in the car, all right? And so, here is Eric. What was you and your mama talking about? She was like, you don't need to worry about it. We ain't talking about nothing. He was like, I could feel some type of energy. Y'all was talking about something because both of y'all was looking at me crazy when I was coming out the bathroom doing. <laughs> Is that what you was doing there? <laughs> because, baby, you was in there doing something. And so she said, don't worry about what I was talking to my mama about. Don't worry about it. And so he was like, listen, okay? You was talking about her. You was talking to her about something. You disrespected me. Then he starts going ballistic. He says, you've been disrespecting me. She said, what? He said, you've been disrespecting me. She said, I ain't been disrespecting you. She said, but I can. I have every reason to disrespect you. Is that what you want? Because, see, I can't. He was like, oh, you've been disrespecting me. You're trying to embarrass me. Blah, blah, blah. They going off. And then he, like, blowed up a little bit. And then he was like, he didn't ball his fist up or nothing. But he shifted hard. I was like, uh oh, hey. I know you ain't shifting. You can shift your ass on out that vehicle. That's what you can do. So, Puppy was like, you know what? I'm not going to put up with this. I'm not going to listen to this. She was like, I will call somebody to come pick me up. Puppy was slick with it. Okay? So, Eric got out of the vehicle, right? 
because he was thinking Puppy was going to get out. Puppy done took the keys and everything. And so Puppy was side-eyed and Puppy was like, and I gotcha. The minute he got the vehicle, Puppy went, whoa, boy. Honey left him standing. Y'all, I bet you he was fit to be tied, honey. You know he was mad. And so Puppy, she was like, I ain't putting up with it. She was mad. So the next day, she done got her homeboy's truck. She done filled it up with some crap. And she headed over to her mama's house. So she's done left Eric. They've done broken up. She's going to be staying with her mom. Um, she called Amber. You know, they're trying to talk to her. And puppy, you need to leave. And don't go back to him, puppy. There's something wrong with Eric. Okay? He's been cheating on you nonstop. He was up in your mama's bathroom doing something. Leave this man alone. Don't go back to him, puppy. Please don't go back to him. Go to Amber. That's what you need to do. Let's move on. Oh, Sarah and Sloth Face Sean Child. Now, before I get into these two, Sarah, don't you mention Kelly ever again, okay? Not the shenanigans you've been doing. Don't say nothing about Kelly. Don't say nothing about Dumpster Fire Destiny. Don't say nothing. Okay? That's closed. So, here we have Sarah and Sean. And Sarah, we know, wants a booby job. And she done put some water balloons in her bra to see what it looked like. And you know Sean. Sean was like, good God oh my!" He was like, ooh. Way that look good. Let's get it on. <laughs> now Sarah's like, no, no, I don't feel like it. I'm tired. <laughs> Sean was like, what is it? Sean says, why are you not interested anymore? Am I turning you off? Is it me? What's going on? And she was like, no, Sean, it's not you. And I'm thinking to myself, L-I-E spell life. Girl, now why you lying to him? Everything about Sean is a turn off. I'm surprised you even had a child with the man. Ugh. But I move on. So she says, no, you know, I'm tired. It's not you. And it's, it's going to be okay. I just need a little bit of time. He was like, is it somebody else? <laughs> what is happening? We used to do it, uh, you know, right often. Now I got a damn near bag to do, to um, get it on. Sean, this woman was damn near naked for you, dangling from a swing. But what did you want to do? Play Call of Duty. So now you can shut the entire F up. Now you know how it feels. So he is feeling his, you know, insecurities. Is it me? Is it me? Why the, you know, why we getting it on? And so she's like, oh Lord. She says, listen, okay, I don't want to talk about it. I would rather smoke than talk about this mess. So they go outside. And so he was like, Are you cheating on me? Who is it? You've been spending a whole lot of time at your mama's house. Without me. We used to go to your mama's house all the time. But now you're going solo dolo. What is going on? And so Sarah said, oh, Lord. I can't take this no more. Okay? Sean. Sean. It's not what you think. Okay? Stress reliever. So she finally told Sean that Anthony is back in uh, the picture. That Anthony has been seeing the little girl. The seeing the little girl at the playground. The seeing the little girl at the mama's house. 
<clears throat> done spent some time with the little girl. Jesus smiling. I was like, oh, Sarah. Ugh. Sarah said, listen, okay, I should have told you, but I didn't because I wanted to make sure that Anthony was clean. And so, Sean, another terrible acting. Let, let me ask y'all something. Do y'all think that the Love After Lockup producers write this down and the participants have to memorize it? Because you cannot tell me that is a genuine reaction. Ain't no way. As Aretha Franklin say, ain't no way. Oh, I'm telling you it ain't no way. So Sean, he jumps up and he says, what? You told me you weren't going to have any type of, you know, connection with this guy. He's cut off. You're not going to have anything to do with him. I thought he was still in jail. So Sarah said, no, he's been out and he's doing well and he's going to spend time with his daughter. And so Sean is going off. Oh, so that's why you've been going to your uh, mama's house. You've been effing him. You've been effing him? Because you sure enough ain't effing me. He been blowing you back out? Because I sure enough ain't been blowing it out. I been too busy blowing up an a infl inflatable kiddie pool. Hot tub. <laughs> it's goofy. So, Sarah's like, Sean, why are you getting so upset? Why are you so mad? Sarah said, oh, Lord. She said, I should have told him, okay? I've been feeling guilty. I should have told him. And he just blowing up. And so, Sean, he's still going off. Talking about you effing him. You cheating on him. This is why you ain't sleeping with me. He upset. Then, Sarah is sitting there. And then, Sean... He hits the little thing that she said no. Ugh. And mad. This is a father of seven. Or is it eight? Forty-some-year-old man throwing a whole temper tantrum. Now listen, I understand Sean being upset. But y'all, when I was looking at him getting upset, I got tickled. I said, oh, God. <laughs> Sarah, there is no way... That you can tell me you were laughing. You was laughing at that. Because, honey, I don't know how you could laugh. This ridiculous self. So he walks off and, you know, he's talking to himself. He comes back and he was like, you going to leave or am I going to leave? And she was like, Sean, are you serious? Are you coming at me with this? Nobody's leaving. Let's talk about this. Either you leave or I leave. And he... Stomps into the house. Oof. <laughs> mm. But I tell you what. That little preview. When Sean and Anthony meet up. And Anthony said let me tell you something. If I want her. I could have her. I was like. Duly noted. <laughs> Duly noted. I'm here for that. See, I wasn't here for this, but I'm here for that. Okay? Let the games begin! Let's move on. Last and most definitely least, Chance and Taylor. Chance and Taylor, child. Love at the Lock of Producers. Who told you all? That we wanted to see Chance walk around with his shirt off. Sasters. Did y'all get that memo? Because I damn sure didn't get it. And if I did get it, I would have burned it. Did nobody ask to see tattooed Winnie the Pooh walking around here with his shirt off all the time? Chance think he cute cute. Okay? Chance is not a bad looking fella. Chance is not a bad looking guy. His mouth is what makes him ugly. His lies. And him being broke. 
anyway. So Chance comes in, cause you know Taylor done burn up all her all his stuff. You know Taylor Bassett from Wayne that's hell. Baby, honey, she done set fire to his clothing. And so she's putting on her makeup, and Chance said, Taylor, are we gonna talk about this? <laughs> I was like, Chance, God, you <sighs> This man has children. His slick tongue. Chaz got a slick mouth too. Chaz and Taylor need to cuss him out so bad. I'm talking about cussing, okay? Not no little cutesy. Yes, I don't like the way. You need to cuss it out, Chaz. So Chaz said, can we talk about this? Taylor said, who's Jess? Who's Jess? That's what we need to talk about. And why are you delete your messages? And here's Chance. Chance says, listen, Jess is somebody at work, okay? And the reason why I delete these messages is because you run your mouth too much. See, if you keep your mouth shut, I wouldn't have to delete these messages. But you ask me every single day. She was like, I do not. He said, oh, yes, you do. So instead of hearing your mouth, I delete the messages. Taylor, you should have looked at him and said, that don't even make any sense. Chance is a liar. He lies about everything, stupid stuff. He said, listen, she's a friend, all right? She's a friend. You don't have friends. You got friends. And so Taylor said, not like that. See, the people I know, you know. I ain't deleting messages. But here you are having whole conversations with a heifer. So Chad says, Man, get out of here, okay? She's my friend. Nothing's going on. You blew this out of proportion. All right? That's that on that. And so... Here Taylor is, putting on her makeup, get they situated because it's time for the baby to come. So she's going to get induced and um, she had some difficulties in the past and she just want to make sure that this baby is going to come out, you know, healthy, happy, and loved. So Chance, he has some gifts for the girls, child, all right? And so he was like, I got y'all a surprise. He even lied here. He gonna talk about it's gonna be two Masons. See, he even lied right there, trying to make a joke. He is so, God. The male version of Dumpster Fire Destiny. So he got the little girl's gifts, and then the girls was like, yay, yay, yay. Then there was a... Who can it be now? Guess who it was, y'all? Yes, sir. It was good old Bobby. I said, hey, Bobby. Hey, girl. Bobby look good. Okay? I hope. I hope Bobby stays clean, sober, and healthy. That's what I hope for Bobby. So Bobby comes in and she was like, hey, 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 I'm here. Okay, my nephew's getting born. I don't want to miss it. <laughs> Here's Chance. <sighs> Honey, you know his butthole went. <sniffs> Honey, Chance was mad as hell when he seen uh, Bobby. We know that he don't like her. It's some jealousy there, okay? He does not want Taylor close to Bobby. He don't want that. Not at all. So, <clears throat> Taylor was like, oh my God, you drove this whole way. I missed you. The girls are hugging her. And she was like, of course I'm going to come. My mom told me that, you know, you were going to have the baby. I didn't want to miss it. And so, here is um, Chance. Chance says, how long are you staying? And so she says, well, I'm not leaving. I'm staying for good. Because, honey, the person I was staying with, we done broke up. And Arizona wasn't working out. So I'm going to stay here for a little bit. Honey, Chance could have bit a brick. 
Where are you staying? How long you staying? You ain't staying here. That's what he wanted to say. And so she was like, no, I'm staying at my homegirl's house. He was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and of course, Taylor was like, yay, yay. Chance, you mad. Stay mad. That's what you do. So it's time to have the baby. Taylor's in the hospital. And we got Chance, we got Bobby, and I didn't know Taylor had another sister. Ain't that what that said, Anna? Well, she got another sister, child. And so they're waiting around, and uh, the pains are coming. Um, you know, Taylor says, I can feel everything. Honey, them contractions are kicking her butt. She says, I can feel it all, honey. Taylor is like, get this baby out of me. And so Bobby, she says, oh no. Bobby says, listen, I didn't think it was going to take this long. I got to get up out of here. Bobby said being in the hospital triggered some things for her. And she had to get out of there. She said she don't like hospitals. And the best thing for her to do is to remove herself, you know, from the, the, the situation, the area. Because we know Bobby had substance abuse problems, so... She got up out of there, all right? She said, I'll be back tomorrow. Here's Chance. Here's Chance. I cannot believe Bobby left her like this. And what about when Chance uh, was talking about Bobby when she showed up and says, I hope she's clean. I just hope that she's tired and that she hadn't smoked a joint. Chance, I'm going to need for you to run into a brick wall. And then, after you run into that brick wall, I'm going to need for you to run into a glass building. You're stupid. You have been on here the whole time telling lies to your woman. Lies. And you worried about Bobby? Worry about yourself. Big, goofy-ass mother. So here he is, upset with Bobby because she didn't stay. That's between Taylor and Bobby. You ain't got nothing to do with it. If Taylor's upset because her sister left, oh well. That's Taylor's prerogative. Just as long as your 15 size foot still that big foot, dummy. Y'all already know I can't stand chance. So anyway, um, Taylor is still going through labor and honey, it is... She's having a hard time with it. So, anyway, y'all. That's it. I told y'all I ain't gonna keep y'all. To my new subscriber. Welcome to the family. Y'all know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends.